Ja, så er man så. The religion is Islam, and the leader is Elijah Muhammad. Mm. That will be called Elijah Muhammad in those days because that is, I think that's what, I think that's how they pronounce it mm. in some parts of the Middle East anyway. Mm. Mm. And so my father jumped up to the ceiling. He said, "This is what we've been waiting for all of my life." He went here to teach it. He liked it. His three younger sons and his daughters, Helen and Ruby, we all went up here to teach him. Mm, mm. And we accepted it. There are things that went on while we were first timers that went on with Malcolm's brother, Reginald. Um, Reginald was dismissed from the mosque in Detroit. Mm. Because they found out that Reginald was had a girlfriend in New York, mm, mm. and the messenger dismissed him. Malcolm was still in prison at this time, yes, sir. and Reginald came back to New York, and he taught at the mosque. Mm. Excuse me, at the temple. I wasn't there then. Yes, sir. I wasn't even in the mosque. And he tried, he was convincing the young men, because we had a lot of young brothers at that time. Yes, sir. Formed from gangs. They had gangs at that time, and all of them were coming in the temple because they liked that tough talk that was coming from the Rashmans. Yes, sir. And he had, he pulled some of the brothers. Mm. And the messenger then sent Raymond Sharif and a squadron of brothers to the temple. Mm. Now, I was there that day. When they were arguing, talking about fighting each other, all that, at lost founds. Mm, mm. Me, my brother, my two brothers, and myself, we were there listening to them. And the reason why, I guess, is because my father raised us up to that, yes, that level. And I guess because Allah wanted us to be in the mouth at that time, because he felt that we would not follow them anyway, because... This was our teaching. Okay, still alive. So, when they, when they stopped fighting one another, they asked for acceptance. And me and my brothers stood up. Mm. This was a business meeting, and they were talking about killing each other, and they left lost founds sitting in to listen to that. Mm. Mm. We got up, and we accepted. Mm. Mm. And we have been in it ever since. Crazy, still alive. <laughs> I know that was long, but... Oh, no, sir, no, sir. You, you teaching me stuff I never knew. Now... Sir? Yeah. Oh, that was 1950. Okay, yes, sir. Uh, look, can I take care of this? I just want to ask a few questions. Is the brother... Um, you said... What's his name? Malcolm's Reginald. Brother? Reginald. Was this the brother who introduced Malcolm to the teachings? Was it Reginald? No. Was it Reginald? There are two brothers that, that went there. See the picture on Malcolm X. There was a lot of falsehood in it. Mm, mm. You know. Yes, sir. The original was one of them. And there was another brother. Um, God. His brother was... One was brother... I can't remember any, but the original was involved in it. Okay, yes, sir. You yes, know, sir. He was involved in it. He was a good teacher. Mm. He had reddish hair, and I never heard him teach. Mm. This is what I heard. He was lighter than his brother. Mm. Mm. And there are those who said he was a better communicator of the teaching than Malcolm. Mm. Mm. You know. um, Reginald got put out, and he lost his mind. Mm. And Malcolm would tell us how he walked all the way from Detroit to Boston, Massachusetts. Mm. Walked. Mm. I don't know what ever happened to him. Because Malcolm had a, a quite a he had three brothers in the in the nation. Mm. Yeah, Two that. were ministers. Mm. Brother mm. Fielded and Brother Wilfred. Mm. 
your brother, uh, I think all of them played a part in, in, in the, the kind of decent life that they lived, you know. And they told Malcolm that if he wanted, the messenger told them to tell Malcolm that if he wanted to get out, he had to teach. Mm -hmm. And I was told the same thing by my minister when I went to jail. Okay, I know you went to jail. Yes, sir. How long were you in jail for? Um, I guess any time in jail is, is not nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I stayed in there about approximately a year. Mm -hmm. About a year. And and who was your minister that told you that? The minister, <laughs> you don't hear that name. His name was Minister Len Kareem. He was the minister that night when we accepted the teaching. Mm -hmm. um, Len Kareem was the brother-in-law. Let me get this right now. He was the he yeah, was the brother-in-law of Captain Raymond Sharif. Mm -hmm. You heard Raymond Sharif. Of course, yes, sir. One of the, one of the, he was just a fine-looking soldier. Yes, sir. Uh, because he was, Lynn Kareem, Lynn Kareem was married to Brother Sharif's uh, sister, Sister Pauline Baha, mm -hmm. one of the sweetest sisters that ever came into the nation of Islam. Praise be to Allah. And Brother Raymond Sharif was the son-in-law of Elijah Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Now, Lynn Kareem taught until 52, and then something happened and he was no longer the minister. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And once you became the minister, um, once you became a minister, what was that like teaching in New York? Once who became? Once you started teaching, going into the ministry and became a teacher. <laughs> when I came back from the prison, or when I was in prison, I, did, I taught. Mm, mm. They tried many ways of trying to put me in the hole. Mm, mm. Uh, we taught, uh, they shipped me from New York to uh, Chillicothe, Ohio, a formatory, mm. along with a uh, brother Charles Threex, who's no longer with the minister, he's with Wallace Street. Mm. Very strong brother, though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then they, they shipped me, they shipped me to, uh, no, they shipped me from New York, Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Then they moved me to Chillicothe. While we were in Chillicothe, Allah blessed us to teach. There were a lot of young men there, you know. Yes, and it got so that these brothers got, I was the minister, and Brother Charles was the captain. Mm. <laughs> and the brother would make nationals out of paper and mm. look it on me. Mm. Mm. And so they got angry, but they got angry at us. And they decided to split us up. Mm. Charles was from St. Petersburg, Florida, the south. Yes, sir. I was from New York. So they sent him Back to Connecticut, mm. Danbury, Connecticut. But me, they sent me deep into the South. Mm. Uh, I guess they felt that I was a northerner, that maybe they could do something with me. Mm. Mm. Wrong move. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. They, when I went into Ashland, Kentucky, they had me down as a troublemaker. Mm. That, that's why they said shit. So they put me in, um, uh, what do you call it, where you stay there for 30 days while they look you over and all like that. Yes, so I would sure, make sure I didn't act up because I didn't want to go in a cell block. Mm -hmm. I want to go in the dormitory Yes, because I want to teach myself out of that place. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, one of the, there were three other brothers there before I got there. And they were, I hate to say, they were doing nothing. Mm, mm. They were actually they were disrespected. Mm, mm. One of the guards tried to kick the brother in the behind. Mm, mm. The brother from Detroit, his mother and father, had set the master for our mommy. Mm. You know, and maybe I shouldn't have said that. Um, anyway, 
But you asked me, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, you, you said you want to interview me, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So anyway, <laughs> what, they they were ready for me. Mm -hmm. they, the other three brothers, they weren't doing anything. One brother was Brother Lamar. His brother was one of the first uh, college graduates mm. at number seven. You've heard of him. His name was, his name to us was Ernest. He became Brother Hanafi. He started the Hanafi Muslim. Mm. You remember yes, that? Yes, I'm familiar. That was him. Yeah, he was a very, he, very good brother, I mean. Mm. Very smart, but he, he turned against the messenger. Mm -hmm. And he didn't like Malcolm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, anyway, um, here I come, the troublemaker. So they figured if they, they, had, they, had to, they had to get to me. So they took the brother from Detroit who used to clean up. He would just like clean up the offices for the yes, sir. guards. And he would come down there and he would try to teach me. He said, you know, you can't. You can't teach like you did in in uh, Chillicothe. Mm. He said, "Cause these are these are mean crackers down here." Mm. Mm. So I told him, I said, "Brother, you know I I know I'm not so good, you know. Yeah, I'm still talking, but they, mm. they wasn't finished. Mm. Now I'm still in what do you call? Forget what they call it. Where you stay just before? You, no, it wasn't isolation." It, 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 well, anyway, they wasn't finished with me. So just before they were going to let me go, the brother came back again. And he was trying to put fear in me. Mm, mm. So he said, brother, you, got, you can't be talking the way you're talking. He said, because they will put you in solitary confinement, whatever, in the hole or something, mm -hmm. in my, and nobody will ever know what happened to you. Mm -hmm. So I said, brother, is Allah the God in the north? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, yes. And that it also means he's the God in the south. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He rolled his eyes at me, brother. <laughs> he didn't want to have no, but it wasn't finished now. Yes, sir. So now, just before I'm, get, I'm going to get into the general population, they sent me on a detail with a white guy to dump garbage. Yes, sir. So when I'm coming back with the white guy, they had a lieutenant. He was six feet four, and he was a bully. Mm, mm. As I found it later on. Yes, sir. And mean white guy was one, and he called. He walked up to me, bumped me, and says. You're supposed to get out of the way of a white man. Mm, mm. I started to say something, but Allah said, look around you. When I looked, the, the, I knew all of them. The mm. lieutenant hiding over there, a lieutenant hiding over there, and they had him someplace else. Mm, they mm. wanted me to do something mm, mm. so they could break my mother's heart. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I yes, had sir. all that in mind. Yes, sir. So I looked at him, and I walked away and walked around him. So the next day, they sent me to the warden, and I said to the warden, I say, if you think that what that God did yesterday is going to stop me from talking, mm. I say, he got another thought. Mm. I remember mm. the words. I say, I'm here as, as a Muslim to teach my people, and that's what I'm going to do. He said, and I say, I'm going to be a good inmate, but I'm going to teach my people. Praise they God. never bothered me again. When they had a body count, I had the brothers up there praying. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be standing in the middle of the dormitory praying. They didn't like that. Brother. They were mad at me. So I, we start talking. I was the minister. People were accepting. If they didn't accept it, they were sympathetic. So one day, I come back from the, oh, they gave me the best job. They wanted, they came to me. Listen, I don't think I ever told you that. They came to me. They had, they first, they asked me, they said, why don't you let us teach you how to fly an airplane? Mm. And if you don't want to fly an airplane, we can teach you airplane mechanics. Mm. I'm young. I'm stupid. I should have done it, but I didn't. Yes, sir. You know, 
They said, then that didn't work. They sent somebody else down. <laughs> he says, uh, why don't you let us teach you how to be a carpenter mm. and a welder? Mm. I don't know, because we were told by the minister, Minister Kareem, that the end was, that we were going home in 1952, or 1952, 1955, because 1955 was the 400 years, right? Mm, mm, so I'm mm. going along. <laughs> then they asked me, do you want to do this? You want to be a brickmaker? They were, they had a school there. Mm, mm. And I'm telling them, no, all I want to do is teach. You know, it's like you said, that's spookism. Yes, sir. But I was young, you know. And... So they did, they took me and they put me in the tailor shop. Mm. Didn't bother me, didn't bother me at all. I'd be sewing clothes and all that, that there. Finally, I'm leaving out a lot of stuff. Yes, sir. Finally, it came parole time. Oh, no, 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 no. The brother from Detroit came to me and he says, they, they, they worried about you. He said, I went past the captain's office and he was talking to his lieutenant. And he said, what are we going to do with that Dawson fella? Mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. That's what made him come and talk to me about that other thing. Yes, sir. He said, because when he teach, people accept. Mm -hmm. So then, then that's, that's when they started that mess, bumping up against me and all, all kind of stuff. And now parole time came. <laughs> so the band came to me and he said, they want you to come upstairs so that you can ask for parole. I told him, no. I said, I like it here. Mm. I said, in fact, y'all got too many restrictions, you know. So he left. They kept it for three weeks. Mm. They sent another man down. I told him, no. I said, you, you have too much restriction and all like that there. So the next thing, they sent the woman. Mm. And she said, James, why don't you want to take the parole? I said, I told them before that you have too much restriction. You, you know, you, I can't do what I want to do. Mm. She said, she turned around and started to walk away. And then she did an about face. She said, James, but what about your mother? Mm. They got me. Mm. That was my kid. <laughs> that was my kid. He said, oh, yeah. Because I know my mother was not well. They were mm. trying to kill my mother. That's why they sent me so far away. Mm. So nobody could visit me. I didn't have no visitors. Mm. And I went upstairs. And I went in to room. All these white people sitting around the table. Uh, they said, James, you can you can have a seat. And I sat down. They said, uh, we want to apologize to you mm. for locking you up. Mm. I didn't tell you that, did I? They said, we want to apologize. And they said, we heard that your complaint was that, you know, too much restriction. She said, they said, don't worry. It won't be that strict. It won't be that bad. Mm. So I came home. I got on the, the 29th. I was supposed to ask them for permission to do things. I asked them, suckers, nothing. <laughs> I asked my wife, my girlfriend to marry me. I got up the 29th, the 5th of July, we were married. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I had to report to them. Go down and report. Hey, damn it. I went to save you. Day. I did everything I wanted to do, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So one day, <laughs> I went down to this parole officer. I said, you know, sir, you all told me this wasn't going to be strict. I said, but... You got me coming here, reporting. I got to get on the train. I got to maybe not go to work that day and all that stuff. I was crazy as hell. Mm. I say, I want to go back to prison. <laughs> yeah. Did I tell you that? I said, I want to go back to prison. So my he looked at the parole officer, looked at me and said, I tell you what, James, all you got to do is call me on the telephone. Every two months, and everything will be all right. Crazy too, huh? <laughs> Excellent. I tell you the truth, brother. It was, it was fun. The only thing that was bad about it is eating. Mm -hmm. uh, 
they are talking almost everything, mm. Mm. you know. So all we could do was, we went to every time they had to eat yes, and take took the things that we knew didn't have pork in it, mm. you know. Um, maybe sometimes they might have chicken, mm. but most of the time, come to think about it, we stopped eating meat. Mm. No, I didn't eat no meat while I was in there. Stupid. <laughs> 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 anyway, we we would pick, especially we went to breakfast, because breakfast we had the cereals and all like that there. And then sometime we would, I know it wasn't, you know, the Lord's family would ask us for our pork. Mm -hmm. But you know what we told the Lord's family? If it wasn't good for me, it's not good for you. Because they were going to trade us and give us something. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. And, yes, sir. and we did. We did. Before I came out of prison, I was sitting on my bunk, and I looked down the aisle, and there was a new man that, that had just come in. Mm -hmm. And every time he see me talking to people, he'd be watching. So I said, maybe he must be a spy or something. Mm -hmm. But my nature was to get up and talk to him. So I got up and I sat next to him, and I introduced myself to him. And I don't know how we got how I got to talk, talking to him, but I knew I had a way of doing it. And we stopped talking. And he started asking me questions after questions after questions. He sounded very intelligent. Mm. You know, he spoke well. He was from Louisville, Kentucky. I hope, hope you know where I'm going. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It seems like I do. He's like from Louisville, Kentucky. Yes, sir. And he accepted Mm. Along with the other brothers. Mm. I left all those brothers in there. They were still in doing time and, and Najee was gone. <laughs> mm. Back home with his family. Anyway, eventually my mother died of a heart attack because of all of this. Because of us being in the Mars. Mm. She died of a heart attack four years later. But anyway. Um, the, the brother from Louisville? Yeah, from Louisville. he accepted the teaching. And I'm, now I'm coming home. But I thought, like... Most of those guys do when they had a teaching or something new, yes, sir, yes, something sir. they could just rap, rap about, that he would go right back in the grave. Yes, sir. So one day in 19, I think it was 60 or 61, I picked up a, a Muhammad Speaks, and there was Brother Robert. Mm. And he was selling the paper mm. to a lost found. Mm, mm, mm. So now Savior Day came, and I met him. At Savior's Day. And that's when he told me, he said, I set up the first temple of Islam in Louisville, Kentucky. Yes. And he said, one day we had a, we we were having an affair, and Malcolm was supposed to come. And the Rudolph Clay came by mm. while he was handing out flyers. Yes, sir. It's his words, not mine. Mm -hmm. And he tried to talk Rudolph Clay into coming to hear the teaching. Mm -hmm. But Rudolph Clay didn't. Mm -hmm. But Rudolph Clay didn't forget. And then, you know, they got, now you got the Muhammad Speak coming. Yes, sir. So his brother, got, Ali, got hold of it. Mm -hmm. And his father was angry at Rudolph because mm -hmm. his father said that Rudolph is the cause of his son being in that, he called Islam sugar honey iced tea. Mm. That's what it's called. He didn't like it. He mm. didn't like the teaching. And he blamed Rudolph for Muhammad Ali being Muhammad Ali. Mm. This mm -hmm. is the truth. Mm. I didn't make that up. Yes, sir. And uh, last couple of years ago, I called. I met a brother from from Louisville. And I asked him, was the brother still alive? He told me the brother had passed away. Brother Robert. You know, I should have done that before. Four, then people would know I was not lying. I said, oh, no, we, we said your word. We said your word. Right. You know, it's... <laughs> My whole family was in the mosque, brother. Mm. Praise the Lord. I had two brothers, two sisters. My two brothers, all my family is gone now. Mm. I'm the only one that is alive. And I don't know if I'm going to live out this year because mm. I'm not well. Uh, but that's up to Allah. Yes, sir. And it's up to me to try to live 
Yes, sir. You yes, know? sir. Yes, sir. Do you uh, have children? Oh, yeah. Okay, crazy to her. Uh, yeah, that's one of my daughters. Yeah, that's one of my daughters there. Mm, mm. Yeah, the man that she's with is uh, Stephon Marbury's brother. Okay, yes, sir. Yes, the sir. basketball player. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. And that's my baby daughter. She's a principal in New York. Mm. I have uh, five children. Crazy I got th uh, three girls and two boys. Wow, yes, sir. One boy is an engineer. Mm. Another is a accountant. Accountant. One of my daughters is also a school teacher, and the other one, she's just a housewife. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know. Okay, I have a question. Since we're talking about your uh, personal family, we want, we want to go back to prior to 75, but um, with your family, what was it about your wife that made you want to marry her as soon as you got out of prison? I figured you were going that yes, way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. I met my wife when she was 15, and she would be 16 in October. I had graduated from high school. I was only the second one in my family of 10 children mm. to graduate from high school. I was planning on going to college. I don't know how I was going to do it, mm. you know. And I met my wife. She was riding a bicycle. I, my brother had told me about her, Jake. He said, there's a pretty girl in, I, in, my, in my school, Jimmy. And he said, her name is Elaine. Mm -hmm. And he said, I said, uh, oh, yeah. But I thought she was too high for me. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. And so one day I got, I got up the nerves. She was riding a bicycle with a friend. And I went up and I spoke to her. And it was ever since. Crazy. Wow. I didn't teach her Islam right away. Yes, sir. I ain't invited to the mosque. Because mm, mm. every time I talked to my friends about, even though I had two, I had two, I had a, a friend of mine made the major league. Mm, mm. You probably heard of him. His name was Archie Virgil. His son was the first string catcher for the Atlanta Braves. Mm, mm. My brother, Henry, right? I never told you about Henry. Henry was the youngest of the brothers. Yes, sir. I was talking about my wife. Right? Let me finish my story. Okay, yes, sir. yes, sir. So when I heard the teaching, I used to go and visit my wife on Sunday morning before I went to the mosque. Mm. So I could stay out of trouble. Yes, sir. And so Elaine asked me, she says, where are you going? I said, I'm going to the mosque, temple. She said, well, how come you don't take me? I said, you never asked me. She said, well, I'm asking you now. Mm, mm, mm. The next Sunday, we went to the mosque. Brother Lynn, with, Minister Lynn, Lynn Kareem, was not a good teacher. He was a terrible teacher. Mm, mm. But Elaine accepted anyway. Mm, mm. She said she never really got a good understanding of the teaching until the great Malcolm X. Okay, yes, sir. He was a great man. Yes, sir. But he became an enemy. Yes, sir. And Elijah Muhammad never said he was not a hypocrite. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And yes, that, sir. Went, that went to Elijah Muhammad. Uh, as he, when he returned to Allah, he never said that he, Malcolm was not a hypocrite. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know. But Malcolm was a good man who got tricked, who let his ego become the better part of him that he felt that he was being harassed by Ruby D, R.C. Davis, all the Tunji, the drummer, all of those people was telling Malcolm that you don't need Elijah Muhammad. Mm. People come out to hear you. Mm. Mm. That's what they mm. told him. So one day Malcolm came out one Sunday and cried. Mm. He was up on the rush and cried. Mm. He said they were trying to pull him away from his teacher. Mm. 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 Uh, you never heard that, did you? No, sir. No, sir. Those are the things I never told you. <laughs> he said, they, he said, try to pull me away from my teacher. You know? Eventually, they did. Mm. They what, did. What was your stance? Uh, was that awkward for you? Mm? Like, was it uncomfortable for you being 
close with Malcolm X and you know then being loyal to the messenger. Talking about like a dog. Mm. And, you know, and it, I, it, he, he was beautiful to me and my wife. Mm -hmm. My wife is one of his secretaries. Yes, sir. He was beautiful to me and my wife, and he did a lot of good. Yes, sir. But when you look at the, the things that he produced, he produced radical people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Panthers. The Deacon for Defense. I really don't want to call it Deacon for Defense, you know, but that's what he produced. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, us, Ron, what was it, Ron Karenga? Yeah. Us, he produced people like Snick. He, mm. did, he did that. And it depends on the day. I mean, he, he, he that's the way he was. He, Mr. Falcon was spiritual. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Malcolm was nationalistic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know? Yes, sir. But he was a clean man. Mm. He was cleaner than people who were supposed to be spiritual. Mm. Yes, he mm. was. Mm. Yes, he was. He was cleaner. When they when they cut his body open, they said they never saw somebody so clean. Did you mm. hear that one? Uh, yes, sir. I heard that. Too. He ate one meal a day. And he loved Najee. Mm. He did. He loved me and my wife. Yes, sir. Once, okay, so I've heard that when you, the minister came to the mosque in New York, Minister Farrakhan, that you were speaking, is that true? Yeah, what happened was that mm -hmm. I was Malcolm's main man. Mm -hmm. Later on, they came brothers that could teach much better than me. Mm -hmm. right? um, he, she chose me that night mm -hmm. to, to be that Wednesday. Not that he knew that Farrakhan was coming. He yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Farrakhan was sitting over there on the left-hand side. The Lord found we put him on the left hand side at that time. Yes, sir. And we lined the brothers up in front of the Lord found sisters so they won't to disturb the brothers standing on the intention. And the minister while he's talking with their short dresses. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. You understand? So um I tell this day I don't know what my subject was. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. But I do know, and I know now, see, Malcolm I was asked by some people, where was Malcolm that day? Mm. Well, Malcolm was out that night doing what he was always good at doing. And he did it better than others at that time. Mm. Setting up temples for a man that he fell in love with while he was in prison. Mm. 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 And he sent my brother. He sent Jabril. He sent brother Adam D. He sent brother Larry who was the minister over North Carolina. He's mm. he passed now. Mm. He sent Brother Alvin, and there was somebody else. Ooh, I used to get all of them. Like, the time I can't get them all. He sent all of them to the West Coast. Mm. And what did they do on the West Coast? They brought it alive. Mm. They set up Los Angeles. They set up San Francisco. Yes, sir. They set up Oakland, and they set up Riverdale. Mm, mm. And they kept San Diego number eight level because the minister, brother minister Majib, who at that time was named Brother Henry, he, he had had an accident mm. while, while he was working as a construction man. And so they kept it together while he was uh, recuperating. Yes, sir. My brother Henry was outstanding. When he was 13 years old, he received a scholarship from the Juilliard Institute of Music. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he gave up all of that. Like I said, Spooky, all of that to be a Muslim and then become a bad minister. Mm, mm. He was the best. He was one of the better ministers that they had in my in Miami, Florida. Wow. Yes, sir. And I'm talking about, you know, uh, Lucius was there. Yes, sir. Troy was there. Yes, sir. And other people were there. But Henry rated right with them, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. With yes, that sir. big head of his. He had a big <laughs> head, brother. And he was such a good singer mm, mm. that when I went to the high school that he left, they both dropped out of high school. Mm. Spooky. Henry dropped, uh, Jake dropped out when he was about to go into his senior class. Mm. Henry Henry dropped out. They were on the machine and metal trade. Yes, sir. Because we were taught by my father that the best way for a black man to make a living for his 
his family was a, was a trade mm. because we couldn't come. We had trouble being doctors, lawyers. In, I mean, it, it just wasn't there for us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, uh, all we could do was be porters. They didn't even hire us at the transit. Mm. They had transit transit workers with porters and uh, car cleaners. Mm. Mm. You know, that's all they wanted. We couldn't we couldn't be on the police force. Mm. We couldn't be firemen. Mm. James, I'm telling you the truth, Jimmy. We couldn't do we couldn't do anything. So we went for trades. Yes, sir. I have a quick question. Mm. When you say spooky, right? Because we're dealing with this. It's just sad that we're dealing with the same issue today. I'm trying to. I'm, I went back to college. I'm trying to get other brothers to go back to college. Mm. Are you saying that the young black men should get an education, even You're though damn women? right they should be? Praise be to Allah. You know that is that is. See, that was one of the forts with New York City, and that was one of the fort. You see, Mr. Farrakhan. See, the reason why we we were able to put out so many papers, not because we were selling them, mm. but because the lieutenants was driving the brothers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, brother, they, you had to take off. He was there. Yes, sir. A hundred papers, two hundred papers, and he ain't no no. They no no. They was no no. So the brothers would come to me crying. Mm. They said, brother, minister, I want to go to college. Mm. But when I talk about going to school, the lieutenant tell me, no, the Muhammad Speaks is the number one program. Mm, mm, mm. So the brothers, we wasn't going. Of course, in college, in Chicago, they were going to school because they, they had a school there. Mm, mm. You know? And we, we were teaching the younger brothers, but the older brothers, they had no education. We mm. had brothers here that, that wanted to go to college, some that went to college and dropped out. Mm. We had brothers that were policemen. You couldn't become a policeman and come in there for us. Uh, mm. Did you know that? No, sir, I didn't know that. No, you couldn't be the police. You had to resign from the police department. Mm. You had to resign from the fire department. Mm. That's how bad it, it was. Mm. No, that's how they wanted to get this teaching over so bad. That's how we laid a foundation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There were sacrifices. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. it hurt. Marriages broke up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It hurt. And anybody tell you it didn't hurt, they're not telling the truth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It hurt. I was going to college. I went to college twice and dropped out. I was studying electronics. And I was the fourth in my algebra class. Mm. But that Monday night, I was sitting in the classroom, Jimmy Spooky again. And I started thinking about the brothers at the FOI. That same Monday, I was in the classroom, mm, mm. and the brothers at the FOI, and I said, what am I doing? These brothers out there trying to help Elijah Muhammad, and I'm sitting in the classroom. Mm, mm, mm. So I quit, and I fell out. And by the time I went back to college, I was 45 years old. Thank you for your sacrifice. And thank you and for I your could sacrifice think like well. I, I thought. You know, 45 years old. And going to jail, I, I couldn't get a job. Not as a real steady job. I had a trade now. I had a trade. The mm -hmm. same welding yes, sir, yes, that sir. they wanted to teach me in prison. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. It came in handy. <laughs> I had to come back out. No, I didn't study. I had to come back out and go back to school. Oh, and learn how to weld, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, and so I couldn't get a real steady job because I had was government jobs. And when the contract went out, they'd lay us off. Mm. So the first steady job I got was a government job. Mm. And then the fish came. Okay, praise the all. And we were asked to make an example so that the brothers could see that if the minister believed that the fish program would be a success, by him quitting his job, then we would draw more brothers in. And so brothers, I had, in the Bronx, I had 60 brothers. And my fish for selling mm. full time. Brother Brooklyn, Brooklyn had 100 and some Brooklyn was a, a Brooklyn on the, on the awesome. <laughs> Brooklyn on the, what's his, what's his, what's his sister's name? Farida. Ter her, her brother. He was a bad dude, brother. <laughs> he would challenge Minister Farrakhan on Sunday. Mm. Farrakhan would have 1,200 people, 
Farrakhan, uh, brother Arthur would have seventeen hundred. I was lucky to get six or seven hundred. Mm. I was lucky to get five hundred. Mm. I was in the dead Bronx. Mm. It looked like a bomb. Out mm. West, Brit, West Berlin. I'm telling you the truth. It, 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 it was so abandoned. The houses in the Bronx. They had put up force. They put up things to make it look at the, like there was a window of curtain, right? Like, mm. like it was a curtain. Mm, 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 mm. I suffered, brother, but I had people. Yeah, I had so people. I was six, three miles away from Manhattan, from the best teacher that Elijah Muhammad ever had, Mr. Farrakhan. Mm. He put me in the Bronx because he felt that I was the only one that could follow him. Mm. So he sent me to the Bronx three miles away from Manhattan. And I, I could have swallowed all believers who were going to leave the Bronx and go to Manhattan. Yeah, okay, yes, sir. But they didn't. Crazy. Some did, some did, you know. But most of them didn't. Hello. Let me tell you something else. During the Savior's Day, they used to give the ministers presents yes, for Savior's Day. Yes, sir. Elaine, tell them who got the most presents. Me, yeah. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so they had to change the setup. Mm. Where everybody it was distributed equally because I was getting <laughs> the roster was packed up with my with my, with my gifts Lord. from the believers. Praise be to the Lord. But the longer I taught as the minister, see, I was, I was, I loved people, you know, and I didn't like to beat up on the ministers, yes, people, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. when they didn't do something. So Captain Shaw would tell the minister. That I'm trying to get the people to love me. I was too soft. Mm, mm. So then I would go up, minister would tell me something, then I would go up the next Sunday and beat up the people. Mm. But that that's not how they, they didn't fall in love with me for beating them up. Mm. They fell in love with me for the, the teaching that I gave them. I told wow. them something one time with this ring I be wed. Yes, sir. Yes. And they sir. went crazy about it. Wow, okay. I don't have it anymore because my, my son threw them out. Wow. Mm. Most of them, I had a hundred subjects. Mm. You know, but that's that's what they they were attracted to me because of the way I I handled. I was I was a nice brother, and they and they said, oh man, they were with me. What they said, they they offered, they, they came to me and said, we want to buy your car. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I said, uh, he said, you don't have to. You just go pick out the color you want. It's already covered. Spooky me. Mm, mm, <laughs> just, mm. I said, brother, you got people in the mouth that don't even have a decent pair of shoes. Take that money and, and do that for the people, brother. Mm, mm. And that's the way I was. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> the minister told me, he said, brother James, when, when Allah gives you a gift, don't turn it down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, if you turn it down, you will never be offered it again. Mm, mm. And that was true. I never got it. I never got them to offer me another car. Mm, mm. Because I wasn't up there to fleece the believers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like this guy, like um, Cephalo Dollar and the other one yes, sir. Yes, sir. from yes, sir. San Francisco. What's his name? Uh, you start with Price. Price? Price. He's in, he's in LA. Mm. Huh? He's in Los Angeles. Yes. Is he still teaching? I, would, I looked at something on my cell phone. Mm. And he's talking about that he got a yacht. And he talked the size of it. Mm. He got, uh, uh, he's got an airplane. And now, and he got a, a, a helicopter. Mm. And he got seven uh, high priced cars. Mm. And he's worth so much millions of dollars. I said, damn, he's a preacher. All he is is a preacher. Well, what is he doing for the people? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How can you just look at the black people suffering like they suffer? Yes, sir. And you don't try to do something to make their life better. That's what I that's what I want to talk to your father. Yes, Why don't we get some of these houses yes, sir. that are abandoned? Use sweat equity, the believers. Sisters, teach them how to use a saw, teach them how to use a hammer, and fix this place up. Yes, so sir. the believers can say, this is mine, and it was given to me because I'm a Muslim. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Speaking of being a minister, sir, what advice would you give to the young ministers or young people who are trying to love go into the, the believers? Yes, sir. Teach, but don't take no stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Love the believers. Teach them right. Yes, sir. Now you spoke of Yusuf Shah. Um, how was his relationship with you, and um, uh, him being such a, a stern captain? I had, I respect him because he was a good captain. Yes, sir. He didn't take no stuff off of anybody. Yes, sir. Captain Shaw was a captain's captain. At one time, the messenger said he was one of the best. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> when somebody, when when the minister, when the minister of the mosque gave an order, or the messenger gave an order, and these brothers try to come in, that come into the mosque, don't want to do that, or follow the order. Yes, sir. Captain Shaw makes them leave. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, there was a time a brother came in, big old light skinned brother. Remember that four eyes? One day he comes into the restaurant with a cigarette in his mouth. Mm, mm. So Captain Shaw said, Brother, you know better than that. And he got the captain's lip. Mm, mm, mm. So the captain said, Tell you what, let's go outside and talk about it. <laughs> 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 we went outside. Guess where the brother was at? Mm, mm. There was another time when after Malcolm defected, this great tough captain. Yes, sir. Black Panthers came in. To the, we had a, a, a clothing store and a restaurant in Corona. What do we call it? In Plaza, right? The Corona Plaza. And the Black Panthers came in, and they had Malcolm buttons on on, on their mm -hmm. shirts. Mm -hmm. And here we are fighting Malcolm. You know, mm -hmm. you know, about the, the mind with our words. They're gonna walk into our restaurant, and Shaw said, "Wait a minute." Shaw says, how you want to walk into a place by under Elijah Muhammad's name with a man that is condemning Elijah Muhammad? Mm, mm, he mm. said, you're welcome here, but you ain't welcome in here with those badges on. He's like, get out. And they got out. Mm, mm. They were scared of Captain Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> Once I'm crying, now I'm laughing, huh? Yes, sir. Uh, Captain Shaw was something else, brother. Yes, sir. Only thing about it is that some of the programs that the minister brought forth, Captain Shaw didn't support it. Mm. Minister mm. won't tell you these things. Yes, sir. That's yes, sir. not the, he won't do that. He loved Shaw. He loved Shaw. Mm -hmm. That's why he did that for Shaw's wife. Yes, sir. But remember now, Suvi was also Suvi got married after Shaw. I don't know. Yeah, yes, she was married to another brother from. Philadelphia, mm. you know, and uh, the brother left, went on back to Philadelphia. Mm. This was a, a few years ago, right, Elaine? Mm. A few years ago. Well, anyway, he didn't support the ministers. Some of his things Who? that he wanted, you said, uh, Captain Shaw didn't support some of the things the minister. No, he didn't support the minister. The minister's job was to get our people into the temple. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So one, when the minister came, there was a problem there. Mm, mm. Between the messenger set up a troika. A troika. I said that's a Russian word for three. Mm, mm, mm. And you had the secretary, the captain, and the minister. The minister is the, the big man over the mosque. Yes, sir. But when Malcolm defected the messenger, you know, he had his, he said he would never teach you heard the minister say that yes, another person like he taught Minister Farrakhan. So he set up these three trackers where the minister, Excuse captain, the secretary. Me. You meant like he taught Malcolm. Like he taught Malcolm. What yeah. did I say? He said Farrakhan. Like he taught, he would never teach another minister like he taught Farrakhan until he sees. You, you said Farrakhan again. You meant. Like Please, people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like he taught Malcolm. Malcolm. Yes, sir. Now you made me lose my. It was three. It's a three. Yeah. Russian word. And it's the minister. Captain. Yeah. The, 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 the minister Farquhar had a problem mm. because they didn't want to respect Mr. Farquhar. Mm. Mm. My brother was in it mm. and I confronted my brother about it. Mm. Mm. And my brother got mad at me. 
You know, he went back to the captain's yard, told the captain what I felt. And from that day on, my closest with my beloved captain wasn't, wasn't like it was at the beginning. Mm. You know, anyway, we set, captain, the minister wanted to set up, get more people into the number seven. Yes, sir. So we bought ladders. Mm. And we were going, we bought 10 bullhorns, the ministry class. We had yes, a sir. big ministry class. And we bought 10 ladders. Mm. Mm. And we would go around the city of New York, park our ladders, take our bullhorns, and teach. And we got people to come in. Mm. But the lieutenants wouldn't go out with us. Mm. 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 Because Captain Shaw did not like the idea. Mm. And so the only one that would go out with us would be brothers in the Mars and brothers who had joined the fish force. Mm, mm. And they would protect us. And when it came to the fish, it was the same thing. Mm. You know, the, Shaw had good ideas. Shaw said that, he said, the reason why he didn't think it was a good idea, and he was right in it in the long run, too. He said, because before you can do that, brother minister, you had to get all of the kinks out of it, that what they would have to go through. Mm, mm. There were things that had to be done, but the minister did it anyway. And what happened, we ran into problems. Mm. The brothers the brother had fish in the summertime melting. Mm. Remember, the fish was frozen. You know, so eventually the minister tried. The minister was a good man. He's a good man. He tried, he tried to solve it, but it didn't work. He, he got some cell phone carriers where we would put hot ice in it mm. and put the fish in there but that didn't last either mm. then we had a problem delivering the fish you know uh, uh, brothers we would put brothers in certain areas and then the brother would run out of fish and the brother would have to get on the bus or get in his car and come back to get some more fish mm. Mm. so then the minister decided he said well I'm going to get some trucks. So we bought five freezer trucks that cost ten thousand dollars a piece. It's just a good man. Mm. And so we had five freezer trucks mm. trying to solve that problem. The problem was never really solved, you know, but we did the best that we could because we sold a lot of fish. Mm. Brother. A lot of fish. We used to get did they bring in two million pounds of fish. Mm -hmm. And we used to get a hundred thousand and sometimes two thousand pounds of fish into New York. Right, so. Mr. Farrakhan bought a uh, a warehouse, a, a warehouse with a freezer in it, mm. you know, and we used to store our fish mm. in there, mm. you know, and then we would send them, sometimes I used to go out with the brothers and get the fish and bring it back to the mosque mm. and deliver the fish. <sighs> what was the climate like when... Um um, you would see people who left and sided with uh, Malcolm X against the messenger, like in New York, and you saw people who may have went with them. No, we, we we never fought them. Okay, yes, sir. No, no, we never fought them. Uh, brother, some of these brothers we knew for years. Mm, mm, mm. Some of these brothers we were walking the street with, you know? And as long as they didn't say nothing about condemn the messenger. See, a hypocrite is not one who just leaves the nation. Yes, sir. It's because we had a lot of brothers that left the nation and nothing was done to them. But I, for me, a true hypocrite is one who had the teachings then go back and start a destroying what he once said he believed. Yes, That's sir. what I think a hypocrite is. Mm, mm, mm. But just because the brother left, that don't mean he's not going to come back. And you see them, they do come back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, they're coming back. They're coming back because the minister fire is not condemning them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, but we got some people that, that, that hate the minister. I heard the, the, at the Janazza for Malcolm. Mm. I mean, for for Rockman. Yes, sir. The, the imam did not like the minister there. Mm. Mm. And they, they're all from under Elijah Muhammad. Mm. But you, you never hear the minister get up there and attack anybody. 
David Zola. Have you heard him do that? Who's that? He did that. Not, not him. Yes, sir. What was the climate like uh, once the most honorable Elijah Muhammad departed for you and your family? Oh, boy. Mm. That was sad. I remember when my father passed away. I was hurt. But nothing hurt me more than when Elijah Muhammad left. Mm. Because Elijah Muhammad's passing meant a lot of believers would go back and die spiritually. Mm. My father definitely harmed us. Mm. Mm. But the death of the messenger of our God had struck far and near. Mm. Mm. It was terrible. What made you decide to stand back when the most honest little fire kind of, like, you know, serving I had to tell my wife. At first, I wasn't coming back. Mm, mm. Because I was making progress that I couldn't make in the mosque. Mm, mm, mm. Me and my wife could put our heads together. We, we, would, we could do things, mm. you know. But it, I see brothers selling papers, and I would tell them, "You made a good move. Mm, mm, you know, mm, mm. don't let them let don't let nothing stop you." Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, it was an empty feeling. I saw people that I believe would never, never leave the nation. Mm. I saw. I had brother telling me they would they would never go. Mm, mm. They would stay until the end. I heard Warren Dean Muhammad say these words. If Elijah Muhammad's teaching was not right, he would go out and make up an army and make it right. Mm. I know you never heard that. No, sir, no, sir, no, sir. I've heard that. What was your relationship like with uh with Warren Dean? Let me finish that. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, brother, I hear people today say the same thing. I ain't going anywhere. I heard so many people. I heard captains, secretaries, big laborers. You heard them too. Say they ain't going anywhere. And now I ask that question. Where are they now? Mm, mm, mm. Minister Farrakhan went back to some of them and they said, no, I don't want to do it anymore. Mm, mm, mm. You know? No one, no one, no one, no one, no one, no one knows what they will do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Until their back is up against the wall. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They've been pushed in a corner. Then and only then Will they know what they will do? Because now they've already done it. Yes, sir. You can't say you don't know. All I say is you gotta put your trust in Allah. Yes, sir. Allah was yes, But sir. you gotta make the teachings. You have to take the teachings and make them what's that word? Oh God. Internalize. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, internalize sir. the teaching. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In you, if you do that, when the message, when the minister goes, you don't think somebody gonna come up and try to do the same thing? Mm. Sitting right up in your boss, mm. sitting in the post of ministers. Mm. They think they they say, "Well, I can get rich too." Mm, 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 mm. That's why I feel so sorry for Brother Ishmael. Mm. He's one of the best teachers that the minister got. Mm, mm. And he's a good brother. Yes, sir. You know, I pray that Allah, that I stay with him. Mm. I pray, Allah, that the people stay with him. Yes, sir. Don't look at somebody because they act tougher than, than Ishmael. Ishmael ain't no punk. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, right. No, Ishmael's a good, 
son of Elijah Muhammad. Praise be to Allah, yes sir. And he loves his father. And he loves uh, Mr. Farah Khan. And he loves Allah. Allah Akbar, yes sir. You know, brother, when I came into the nation, I weighed 139 pounds. Mm. My weight was 29. My hair was jet black and I had some. Mm. I could jog six miles. Mm. Yes, I could do it every day or I could do it every other day. And when I was 77 years old, I was walking around the track five miles. Mm. Oh. At that age. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can't do those things anymore. Yes, sir. Mass, how old you are now, sir? I'm 89. Allah Akbar. Yes, sir. Praise be I so can't Allah. do those things anymore. Yes, sir. Yes, but sir. there's one thing that remains standard with me. Yes, sir. My love for Allah. Allah Akbar. Yes, sir. My love for Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. My love for Minister Farrakhan. Praise be to Allah. Yes, sir. And my love. For black people, Allah, 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 yeah. especially the members of the nation of Islam. Yes, sir. But, Prime Minister, you came to me personally after I would uh, speak on Sundays many times, and you would give great advice to me. What, um, what is it about you that shows love to the people who are coming into the ministry, who are who are striving just to follow you all in your footsteps, that makes you so kind to us? What is it? Yes, sir. That you. That you remember that a nation of Islam. Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's right. And I know that we have been mistreated mm. on the outside. Yes, sir. Why should you come into the nation of Islam and be mistreated all over again? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, that's stupid, isn't it? Yes, sir. So why should I mistreat? You come here for salvation. You come here because, you know, you've been told that there's peace here. That there's love here, and then you come in and find out love is not there. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, that sir. is all mouth. So you leave. That's why it's good that a minister is kind, that he loves the people, that he don't beat on the people, that yes, he sir. just teach the people the teachings. Yes, sir. And when they when they go astray, don't beat them. Yes, sir. Yes, Take sir. them aside and try to talk to them, find out why. Yes, sir. You know, we got people that don't come to the, these mosques, yes, sir. not only here, but all over. Yes, sir. Sometimes you don't see them in a month. Nobody goes to find out why. Mm, mm, mm. Why you don't come? You, 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 you turn against the teaching? Maybe you got a problem. Maybe you got a health problem. Yes, sir. When I was, people used to come to me. People from Wallace people mm. used to come to me and ask me would I come and talk to some of their people. Mm. And I would. Mm. That's that's a job. Yes, sir. It's a job of each and every one of us. When we see a newcomer, show him love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't want all these old stern-looking faces. Okay. You gonna beat somebody? Yes, else. You gonna have all the time in the world to get tough because the white man is coming and he's moss. Yes, sir. Don't you ever let anybody tell you he's not coming because he's coming. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're coming after our sisters. Yes, sir. Because we said, you better not touch a, a black woman. You better not touch our sister. What do you think? That you think you think these guys are scared of us? Mm, mm, mm. Okay. They're, on the, they're right out there now taking target practice. Yes. yes. What advice would you give to future fathers? Yeah. Don't be too hard. Yes, sir. On your children. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The best thing you could do, he got beautiful children. Because mm. he probably was a good example. I'm talking about you, Jimmy. Thank you, brother. Thank you, know, you Be a good example. Yes, sir. All of them are not going to accept the teaching. Maybe by the time you have some children, <laughs> all of them did this black man. Mm. Everybody going to be a Muslim. Yes, sir. You know? yes, sir. Yes, sir. But no. Always be a be a friend. Yes, sir. Be a be a friend to your children. Yes, sir. Show them that you love them. That you really love them. You know. 
reprimand them when they wrong, but reprimand them using Quran, using the teaching. Yes, sir. Don't leave the spoiling to grandfather. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even leave, leave it to him. Leave it to him. Yes, sir. What advice would you give to future husbands? <laughs> Be a friend of your wife. Yes, sir. Be a friend. Praise it to the Lord. Hey. My wife and I are together because we're in the same teaching. And we love each other. Yes, sir. I have not been perfect. She has, though. Mm -hmm. well, Let me say that again. Yes, sir. I have not been perfect, but she has. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When I was in prison, see the picture up there? That's my wife and me at the prom. Mm, I don't know who that was. Yes, sir. You go and get him, take him that closer look if yes, you sir. want to. Yes, sir. That's my dad. Well, what's up? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. When I was in prison, she had a sister. Her, her father started the number one action. Mm. The single digit. Her father started that. Okay, his father. Mm, mm. And he bought a nice house in St. Albans mm. called Addis Lake Park, where Jackie Robinson, uh, Louis Jordan, matter of fact, Louis Jordan lived around the corner from him. Mm, mm. And so her sister, while I was in prison, tried to get her to date somebody else. Mm. Elaine said, <laughs> she did not. She did not do it. Yes, sir. I came home. She was there waiting for me. I had said to the brothers when I was getting ready to leave, I said, I'm not going to eat any more meat, and I can have anything to do with any woman. <laughs> Just imagine that. Yes, sir. Six <laughs> days later, I was married. Mm, mm, mm. I have nothing to do with any mm. woman. She was waiting there with me. My family was waiting. Praise be to Allah. Excellent. What has been the greatest joy, Brother Minister, of your uh, service and time in the nation? When I teach and the people get up and accept. Wow. When I'm well versed in my subject. Yes, sir. And I'm not bragging when I say this. They called me the second son of thunder. Mm, mm, mm. You know who the first son of thunder was? No, sir. That was a minister Shabbat from Jersey, from Newark. Mm, mm. When I had a subject together, <sighs> people would be jumping up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sometimes I had to stop them. You know, Allah blessed me. And I, what I really am so happy over is that Minister Farrakhan was my minister. Mm. Praise be to Allah. Yes, because he was so fair. Mm. And he loved me. Mm. And I loved him. He was so fair to me. Yes, sir. Some people didn't want me to be a minister. Mm. I'm sure I didn't. Mm. Minister Farrakhan said, my minister. Mm. You know. It's something else. Yes, sir. Praise be to Allah. Well, I want to thank you very much, Brother Minister, for your sacrifice and the sacrifice of your family and just for being a kind person to all of the, the members of the drill team and the younger people, but especially the to me. The drill team. Man, we miss y'all. Yes, sir. We ain't got nothing here. I'm, I'm working. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm coming wow. back. Wow. Where in school? Everybody's in school or working. Everybody's in school and Tell working. Tell them, don't stop. Yes, sir. Come back. Do, do what you got to do. Get your degree. Yes, sir. And come on back. Yes, sir. And put us on top again. Oh, absolutely. We intend to. Absolutely. But don't stop. Yes, sir. But let me tell you something. The messenger said some of the best are still outside. Yes, sir. Who do you think he was talking about? And he was talking about people that can help the nation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can't help the nation being stupid. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have to have education to do it. The yes, message sir. told the minister. He said, I can't do this with, do it with people like this. Mm. He said, he need that's what, and Malcolm was smart enough to know it. Mm -hmm. That's what Malcolm's prime target was. Malcolm said we don't have no no educated people in the mouth. I mm -hmm. I was at one time I was the highest educated person at number seven. Mm -hmm. And guess what I was? A high school graduate. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And so Malcolm went out after those people. Yes, sir. But as he went out after those people, they stopped going after him to separate him from his leader. Mm, mm, mm. Now they're not doing that. Mm. Now they're coming in with education and they're sticking with the minister. Praise be to God. Because they, they don't have no excuse. See, before they would condemn Elijah Muhammad. They tell the minister, oh, he can't even talk. He's an old man. He's this, he's that. But they, they couldn't say that about the minister. Yes. They might try to say it now because mm. he's old, but they can't out teach him. Yes, they sir. still can't out teach him, yes, can they, brother? No, sir. No, sir. There ain't nobody in the mosque that can out teach the minister. I don't see nothing. That's right. That's right. Not when the minister's on. Right. When he start cussing and everything, <laughs> they can't beat him, brother. Yes, sir. Because God is with him, and he's in his head. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A lot of words. And the scripture that says, "I knock at the door. Mm -hmm. If any man opens the door and enters, I will sup with him, and he will sup with me." Yes, sir. Minister Farrakhan opened up his door, and he let Master Farad Muhammad and Elijah Muhammad into his head. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that Satan that was in his head, he took a terrible beating from the minister. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So he don't jumped out of the minister's head. Yes, sir. He run after me and you now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. He's, he's uh, Satan, Satan is gone. Minister Farrakhan is whipping Satan. Yes, and he's sir. producing men. And I pray a lot that these men that he's producing, like Nori and your father yes, and and uh and Ishmael yes. and uh Demetrius and Brother Brother Henry and I hope that and Brother Malik yes, sir. Say, Ma Ma Malik say oh, you know I'm talking yes, about yeah. yes, I hope that they stay this way. They don't get hell. I just hope I don't I don't I don't know if they're gonna do it, but I hope they don't. Yes sir, yes sir. I hope they don't. I hope that whoever the minister puts up that we follow him. Yes, sir, yes sir. Excellent. Well, thank you, sir. I love you, Brother Minister. and uh, I love you, too. Thank you for teaching us, myself, and many of us. Are today. you going to do him? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to get to You ain't doing him now. No, nah. sir. No, sir. Yeah, no, you sir. Get out of here. Yes, sir. I got to go get something to eat. I'm hungry. Give your father and your mother. How, how well is she, brother? Man, she's getting better by the grace of God. She on Dallas? Yes, sir. Wow. I didn't know that. Yes, sir. I remember the first time I went, we went when we were setting up the, uh, the ministry, and I got to talk. Your mother, your mother, who didn't know me, mm. she said to me, she said, Brother Najee, don't hold back. Mm, mm, I didn't mm. even know her. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of, I heard she was a captain one time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I heard she was a tough captain, though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Excuse me, brother. I'm, I'm a lost found. I don't know. You want one? You want one? No, I don't want none. Yes, I'll wait till we open. But yes, sir. Uh, you want it? Oh, yes, sir. But thank you very much. And thank you all for watching a special edition of Off the Record.